Hello class, my name is Ricardo Dial, and my project will be titled Idlewild 2, The Musical. Outkast is an American hip-hop duo formed in 1992 in the city of East Point, Atlanta, Georgia. The group consists of rappers Andre 3000 Benjamin and Antoine Big Boy Patton. The group was formed after Big Boy graduated high school and soon after Andre dropped out during his junior year, both to put more focus on their music. The group is known to be inspired by the art and culture of many Afrocentric individuals such as George Clinton and Sly Stone. They created their own work and own sound by blending funk with a little of southern rap. Outkast went on to sign with LaFace Records as the label's first rap act. They began to work on their first album, Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music. The duo went on to be nominated for numerous awards, eventually winning six Grammy Awards, two for Best Performance Rap by a Duo or Group, Best Alternative Slash Urban Performance, two best rap albums, and one album of the year. The duo put Atlanta on the map as a hip-hop city while recording some of the genre's most memorable songs from the 1990s and early 2000s, including Miss Jackson, Where You Move, and B.O.B. for Bombs Over Baghdad. Some of the group's projects consisted of Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music, which came out in 1994, AT, AT Aliens, which came out in 1996, Equimini, 1998, Stanconia, 2000, Speakerbop, The Love Below, 2003, and Idlewild. 2006. Our cast will be a great choice for a TV film, or special, or even a DVD release because they have countless acts with numerous hit movies. Their own movie slash musical was based off their sixth studio album entitled Idlewild. Idlewild consisted of musical numbers written and produced and performed by the group. It outlined a group hip-hop slash soul sound against a story based on a juke joint in fictional depression era of Idlewild, Georgia in 1935. Big Boy played numerous roles in other numerous movies such as ATL and Who's Your Caddy, while Andre, who was known as more of the actor, played in numerous movies such as be Cool, Four Brothers, Revolver, Charlotte's Web, Scary Movie 4, Back in Seattle, and All By My Side. Okay. The show that I will somewhat manage or oversee will be entitled Idlewild 2. Scheduled for July 4th, 2014. The venue of choice that I chosen will be Walnut Creek Amphitheater. This theater is a beautiful outdoor music venue located in Raleigh, North Carolina. It originally opened in 1991 and to this day has a capacity of 20,000. Your venue was created with intention to host large musical concerts and bands events. The seating capacity is 6,846 with approximately half that being under the cover shed while the lawn holds a further 13,653 bringing the total capacity to 20,500 to this day. Live Nation Entertainment, 
who is a concert promoting company, owns over 150 venues to the date and operates this specific venue. Live Nation also acts as the outlet for fans to purchase their tickets for any show or concert being held at any venue operated by them. This show will offer VIP service to individual companies who want to sponsor their brand or company. Also, VIP service will be seated in the front, cornered off, My day show. I've broken down my day show to different sections. Basically, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., we will have a meeting with everyone, every member, a part of the staff. From 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., the assistant supervisor will, will inspect the catering for the event. The second assistant supervisor will inspect all clothing and making sure that each act has their clothing in their uh, dressing room. From 10.30 to 11 a.m., we will have a stage set up. From 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., we will have uh, another continuation of the setup for the stage. From 12 to 12.30 p.m., we will all have lunch. 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m., we will have a general meeting with everyone again. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we will have a dressing room set up, basically for the backstage rider. The supervisor will oversee this, making sure that everything specifically asked for by the artists are there and their needs are met. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., we will have a lightning uh, for the stage and for the arena um, directed by the video director. 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., we have a sound check by all artists. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., we have dinner. 5 p.m. to 5.30, we will have a final check of the dressing rooms, make sure everything is in place in order. Uh, 5.30 to 6 p.m., uh, we will have a backstage and lighting and stage check, making sure everything is in order. Um, we want to minimize all defaults. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., we will have another final general meeting. Um, and at 7 p.m., we will finally open up gates to all fans. And starting at 8 p.m., we will have opening acts. And that will last for two hours, which will follow by Outcast, the group, um, starting at 10 p.m. performing their musical. Um, I just have a uh, small budget for this show. I decided with $1,000, um, we can cover uh, little costs, um, such as the catering for the theater, um, stage presentation. Um, lightning, uh, ticket prenups, and so forth. Um, I will price each ticket um, for their inner seats uh, at ten dollars. This will bring a total of sixty-eight thousand four hundred seventy dollars. The open field, which consists of thirteen thousand six hundred fifty-three, I will charge at five dollars a piece which will bring that total to $68,265. And uh, for DVD sales, we will handle that at $10 a piece. A backstage rider, I took this uh, actually, um, this is the actual backstage rider for Outcast that I found on the sample website. Um, it's pretty as, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of to the point. Um, and basically, uh, 
and end of this um, the type of risk that I feel that will come into play. Um, definitely, um, being that the theater is uh, such an open um, theater, uh, those that are subject to get hit by rain are the ones that are will be sitting on the lawn. Um, you also have activities such as art, artists canceling for so, so, so forth and so on reason. Um, sometimes you might overestimate um, on the fans, um, the, the being present, showing up. And sometimes we always can have equipment failure. Um, this uh, project was pretty, it was pretty cool. Um, it gave me the sense of actually thinking like a manager or, you know, setting up uh, a show for my artists and making sure everything is in play for a, uh, a great show, not just for them, but more importantly for the fans. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, my name is Ricardo Dial. And I'll see you guys later.